Have you ever wondered how many bones you have in your body? Well, let's get straight to the point. An adult human body is a marvel of nature, housing exactly 206 bones. That's right, 206. But these aren't just lifeless pieces of architecture holding us upright. No, they are living, breathing tissues, performing a myriad of tasks. From enabling movement to shielding our delicate organs, our bones are the unsung heroes of our body. They're also the master chemists, busy producing blood cells and storing a treasure trove of minerals. It's like they're running a small city inside of us. So the next time you stretch, jump, or even reach for that coffee mug, remember, it's your 206 hard-working bones making it all possible. Now, isn't that something to be amazed about? Did you know that your bones come in all shapes and sizes? Let's dive into the world of bones and no, we're not talking about the TV series. We're talking about the real deal, the bones in your body. In essence, bones can be classified into four major types. First, we have the long bones, like the femur in your leg, which is the longest and strongest bone in your body. Then we have the short bones, such as those found in your wrists and ankles. Next up are the flat bones. Your sternum or breastbone is a prime example, providing protection for vital organs. And last but not least, we have irregular bones. These are the ones that don't fit into the other categories, like the vertebrae in your spine. Each bone, irrespective of its shape or size, plays a critical role in our body. From the long femur in your leg to the tiny bones in your ear, every bone has its unique job. Ever wondered what holds all your bones together? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of the human skeletal system. It's not just a hodgepodge of bones thrown together, oh no, it's much more than that. It's a meticulously arranged framework of bones and connective tissues, each with a specific purpose and function. Imagine your skeleton as a concert orchestra, with each bone playing its part to create the symphony of movement that we call life. This orchestra is split into two sections, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton is like the conductor, central and indispensable. It consists of the skull, the spine, the ribs, and the sternum, forming the core structure of your body. Then we have the appendicular skeleton, the ensemble of musicians, if you will. It comprises your arms, legs, pelvis, and shoulder blades. These are the bones that let you run, jump, dance, and yes, even do the floss. But remember, it's not just about the bones. The connective tissues, such as ligaments and tendons, are the unseen heroes, holding the bones together, providing stability and facilitating movement. So next time you take a step, or wave hello, or even when you're just sitting quietly, Remember the intricate symphony being played out within you. Think of your skeleton as the infrastructure of a building. Without it, we would be just like jelly. Scene script. Ready for some bone-rattling facts? Let's dive right in. Did you know that the human body is a marvel of engineering and that our bones bear testament to this? Believe it or not, our bones are five times stronger than steel when compared pound for pound. Now that's a feat of strength that even the man of steel would envy. Moving on to our ears, they house the smallest bones in our bodies. The stapes, nestled deep within the inner ear, is only about the size of a grain of rice. Yet this tiny bone plays a crucial role in transmitting sound vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear. Talk about small but mighty. And while we're on the topic of mighty, consider this. Our bones are continually renewing and repairing themselves. This process, called remodeling, allows us to heal from fractures, and also helps to regulate calcium in the body. Now that's what I call a self-healing system. Did you also know that the number of bones we have changes as we grow? A newborn baby starts life with about 300 bones, but by adulthood, we end up with just 206. That's because some of our bones fuse together as we grow. Isn't it amazing how much there is to know about something we carry around every day?